hello everyone you are welcome back to my channel thank you for stopping by if you're a new subscriber you most welcome returning one thank you so much old ones you are most most welcome today's video is about a very rare and native soup of the people of the upper east region of ghana without much i do let's begin the ingredients are being displayed on your screens but i will try to mention some do that will be skipped you can kindly just go through we need kidney fowl, salam, we need ogla. These things, I don't know their English names because they are very, very native. Maybe they have, I don't know. If you know, please just drop the name in the comment section. We need all those ingredients displayed or shown on your screen. So, we also need potassium or cow or baking soda. So, let's begin. Put a pot or clean pot on fire my pot it's not dirty there was just ginger in it put in your proteins there i have smoked guinea fowl and beef then you put in your blended ginger chopped onions and seasoning keep of choice then you add salt here i'm using a very local salt add water because it's smoked it has no uh, liquid on its own to steam so i added water stir well to mix and bring to steam or to boil if you so wish i cook on low to medium heat most of the time so i recommend you cook on medium or low heat if you're not in a rush so after that is being steamed i soak my ogla this is a form of mushroom that is only grown on the soil. You can't plant it, I guess. So you pour water to cover it, soak it for some time in, to enable you wash it clean. After washing it, you pour in another pot water of your desired quantity. Then you wash your ogla or the local mushroom, I call it. A picture of it was displayed at the beginning if you know the name please drop it in the comment section for me thank you i washed mine twice after washing twice it was clean and i kept it in the pot and brought that to boil now let me tell you about this soup it's so local or so traditional that you hardly see it anywhere else i'm the only one who have brought it to this internet so please help me share this video so it is eaten among the people of the upper east region of ghana west africa and so local and hard to prepare some people skip preparing it or dodge preparing it because of the tedious nature of its preparation enough of the beef history which i'll leave for a different day so i checked my ogla it was still hard i covered it to continue cooking now i'm checking my meat or protein i'm adding my dawa dawa which is washed too then next i add my blended uh, tomato and sweet paprika i showed you at the beginning with garlic and scotch bonnet then i stir that to also mix well one thing i didn't say this soup was so inspired by my mom who came with me from ghana to europe so i didn't want her to feel so homesick for the short period she'll stay you know how these elderly women or elderly people sometimes behave so i decided to carry all this stuff along to prepare it for her and she loved it she was so happy i'm checking my ogla or local mushroom for the second time and voila it's very soft to perfection then the next thing i will do is to add in my potassium or baking soda or cow i cleaned all these vegetables off camera this one needs real hand picking because there is dirt i mean dirt you don't know where it passed through and you can't wash it before cooking so i put that in alternatively you can try to break it into smaller pieces but i didn't want it this uh, that way so i just poured in whole grains or whole leaves then you stir that to mix well back to my meat it was doing well and almost ready so i check it for the one last time tasted for seasoning it was perfect 
my ogla and salon was also doing perfectly well you can see but not ready it's still so dark green that means it's not yet ready the next scene will show you how ready see it's a bit reddish or what color you call it this shows that it's green then i will off the fire and transfer it to the protein here you can just see that i am pouring in the mixture of the ogla and the salum one thing i didn't say is this uh, salum is so slimy so if you don't like slimy soups this is not for you it's even slimier than the jute leaf or ayoyo that we cook and i add in my mackerel also shown at the beginning and stir this to combine so that the juices of the meat will marinate or marry the salo and the ola i am not saying this by mouth or because i cooked this but this was a real deal it went so well it tasted so well it smelled so nice in the whole house was occupied with every smell after mixing it this is how it looks i wanted some more heat so i added some more pepper to it and lowered the fire to the lowest setting because it's almost done it just needed to marry each other well then i allowed it to do its own thing and i went ahead to stir my teaser so if you've not subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe like leave a comment and share this video for me to help a friend or a sister in need it was time for me to save my food or save my mom so i stirred this tamarind tea with sorghum millet flour which i have a video coming up next i served it with that tea and it went so so well so delicious so nutritious so healthy and what else did I have to say then? Thank you God for feeding me and my family. If you've watched this video to this end, thank you so much and stay blessed. Bye.